something. Oh man. Okay. Sorry guys. So we just did a whole bunch of talking and the video deleted itself. So we'll start this again. Um, if you guys are uh, getting notifications about that, you know that today is my birthday, blah, 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 blah. I turned something, something, blah, 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 blah. You saw my post from yesterday, blah, blah, blah. Um, today we are trying durian candy, soft tea candy. We know we didn't like the actual fruit, but maybe the candy is sweeter and it tastes different and it tastes like actual fruit. And we're going to try duck eggs. Preserved duck eggs and they are lead free, you know. You don't want to get the kind with the dip, with the lead in them. Horse hoof cake. And it's not actually horses. It's actually water chestnuts. In some cultures, they call uh, chestnuts uh, horses. But no. quick, quick uh, notice. Uh, if you guys eat jello, you know, like jello gelatin pudding or anything with gelatin in it, basically you're already eating horses and hair. And we're going to be trying roast eat. Roasted eels. I've already started to open the package, so I didn't want anything to spill out. It's upside down, but it says roasted eel. And so the order we're gonna do this is the roasted eel, then the um duck eggs, the, and then the durian, and then the horse hoof cake. Right. Hold on one second. All right. So we have our water with us. Yep. Um. No trash containers. So we are going to fully chew and swallow. We have to, otherwise, you know, that negates the purpose of trying it. Well, chew it back. Like this. <laughs> chew it back. Okay, I'm thinking that the roast deal is probably going to taste like sardine. Okay. These look really interesting. It smells like um, tuna. It does smell like tuna. I think that... This is just tuna. This is just brown. Can we have a half of one? Or do you have to have the whole thing? You're gonna get a whole one. But that thing is big. This here. Oh. So, they come in what looks like a sardine can. There we go. Wait, I need to get me a fork. Hold on, people. Yeah, get yourself a fork. I'm super excited. Okay, so you got one. Well, you're going to pick the big chunk one up. Hold on, get one of the ones on top. They seem to be a little bit smaller. But they seem to be a little delicate. So, see. It's falling apart. Be careful, you have on white hands. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, just take that. Just take what you got. Okay. Okay. All right, roasted eel. Ready, set, yum. Mmm. That's actually good. I mean, like you take, you're tasting like every muscle. It's not as flaky as maybe tuna. I guess this is like the the chunk version you know how you get chunk white albacore this is a chunk version of eel so that was actually good i'll probably save that for a sandwich sandwich yeah i'll eat it again so not so weird so we're doing pretty good you sure you don't want to save the duck eggs for last yeah let's go see Okay. We can try durian fruit. Okay. Let's try the durian fruit. Never mind. I mean, guess people don't know. Um, if you guys have um, an Asian food store near you, I think that it would be a good idea. Ew! That's already stinking. Oh. Man. My two dollars. Anyway, um, if you have an Asian food store near you, they usually have like the best deals for produce and groceries. I mean, it's, they are awesome, awesome, awesome to go to. I love going to the Asian food market. That's where I'm able to pick up 
a lot of these different foods. Like dairy. And there's these live ducks that are baked. And you they still have the beak, the heads, the eyes, and the nips. She's talking about a rotisserie duck. She saw the whole body and she was a little disturbed by it. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like, you know, those fruit shoes that you used to get from the candy lady. Ew. Like if you were born in the 80s. Or you lived in the hood. And you go to the candy lady. Or in the PJs. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, the candy stinks. Wait. I'm not going to eat it yet. Well, the bag at least stinks. Now it smells, it smells a little maple-y. Like maple syrup. Yeah. Like, but the, the bag smells like a durian fart. Just... Let's see no, if I can see the like ingredients. The alien guts, so it like it says the ingredients are sugar, glucose syrup, durian, nature identical flavor. <laughs> nature. Okay. And artificial color. I mean, this is pretty much the color of durian, if you remember our last video. This smells like durian. It does. Okay, you ready? Can I eat the whole thing? Yes, you have to eat the whole thing. That's the purpose. All right, let's go. No, it's just not good. Excuse me. Okay, no. Wait, I have to do it here. No. Oh my goodness. That has got to be the most... The worst fruit I ever tried. No. No. Oh my goodness. I can't swallow this. <laughs> it is a hard chew. I have to swallow it like a pill. Oh. It's like <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. It's just not. <laughs> okay. I can't swallow it like a pill. Okay. We apologize. Short intermission. Okay, we're back. Um, no, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, that's the kind of stuff that you eat when you don't have anything else to eat. Um, or you've never had an apple. Or Brussels sprouts. I mean, I happen to like Brussels sprouts, but I'd eat Brussels sprouts as a fruit. I'd eat Brussels sprouts on top of a cake before I'd eat that again. Durian is just... No form. Am I gonna try it? Is it gonna be good? I've never eaten it. Oh, you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna make it. So it let's looks like candy. This is the horse hoof cake. Hopefully this doesn't spit it out. Okay, this smells like chocolate. Good chocolate. It, no, to me it smells like. I can't remember the name of that. Uh, right. Um, you guys remember like those wafers, like peanut butter things, and they were really, uh, they were like a little rectangle, and they came in like the brown and white packaging, or um, the clear and brown stripe, talk on durian, packaging. I do apologize. Um, that's what it smells like. Definitely like it has peanut butter in it. So let's go ahead with this. Ooh, 
the candy in the middle. No. Yeah. And this is crumbling like powder in your mouth. Ooh. <laughs> I can't eat a noodle like that. You better put some water in your mouth then. <laughs> It does. I always have women who are pregnant and have those cravings for uh, chalk. <laughs> um, or I know I like, or I had a craving for like Ajax or something like that. Mm -hmm. Something chalky. So definitely try this because this is like oh, it will stick good. to you. We, we can't encourage people to eat chalk because it's not really good for you. Yeah. Um, but these here, there is a little bit of a nutty flavor to it, but they are, I mean, they just, they, they just melt in your mouth like, no, it melt in your mouth. I mean, I mean, it's, it's really powdery, Ooh, really powdery. The flavor's okay. I can, I could do that a couple of times. I can eat so. that for I can eat dirty. All right. And the you PS. Need to let people try that kid. Yeah, I'll definitely bring that in for my co-workers. Now, the P.S. de Resistance. Eggs. The preserved duck eggs. Now, I will only make you try half of this. So, get a plate and a knife so we can cut this in half. Is the egg big? Um, we'll see when we open it. Okay, so you can see, on? yes, it does still have the shell on it. Okay, so we're gonna have to peel this thing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, so we'll be right back after we finish peeling mm -hmm. this egg. Pause. It's black. You said it stinks. Yes. Smells like a preserved egg. What's a preserved egg? That means they made it so it doesn't. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. So, I know this isn't going to be good. This is. You know, I had to do an egg project when I was in high school where you had to like soak it in vinegar for a certain amount of days and soak it in maple syrup for a certain amount of days. And like the shell dissolved off and the egg kind of, like the outside of it or the albumen, the white part, became like really rubbery. It says no lie, but it smells like, or you know what? I think it did have lie in it. <clears throat> it smells kind of like a relaxer. Hold on. Okay. Read that one there? Yeah, I'm guessing that that's like... <clears throat> okay, yeah, the ingredients are duck eggs, salt, lye, and water. And I can definitely... It said, said no lye. No, it said no lead. Huh. So, yeah, this is... Um, yeah, okay. Cut it in half, do it the long way. We yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, if I put one of these, you know how some people put eggs in their hair for moisture and protein, all like that mm -hmm. stuff. If I put this in my head, if okay, now, if I put this in my head, I probably have some straight edges, but I'm all team natural. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Can you only eat like half of that? <laughs> Get 
Can I have the smaller piece of this? <laughs> sure. Mm. Oh my mm. goodness, this is like, that. this is the part that stinks about the kids. Um. We have to eat the whole thing. We have to try. But I'm just gonna bite it on okay. No, just toss the whole thing in your mouth. No! It's in the mouth and over the gum. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Watch out, stomach. Here it comes. Okay. First impression. Yeah. Better. If I did not know what it looked like. If I did not know what it looked like. It really wouldn't be that bad. It is more the look because um I mean it definitely has a flavor of duck egg which is okay but the way this looks it it looks pretty putrid but the yolk is still really it's it's really nice you know I like my eggs like fried you know over medium and it has that sort of consistency um but overall <clears throat> Like I said, if I didn't have to look at it, it'd be a whole lot better. Like, I have to go to like one of those restaurants where you're completely in the dark. Yeah, I can't look at this. It's, it's harmful. Um, but like I said, the flavor itself is actually pretty decent. Now there is a little bit of kick. You can like get that, get a little bit of that lie taste. So. Again, you just like. <clears throat> I'm never eating that again. Okay. The taste I could. that I didn't like was the egg and the dirty. Like, oh, sorry. Uh -huh. I'm kind of this because it's too chalky. Alright. So, the eel was really good. The horse hook cake. Okay. Yeah. The egg. No. Blindfolded and just no, no to the dirty. It's just not it's gonna happen. It's just no to the egg to me. Are you gonna eat this? No, I'm not gonna eat it because <laughs> I've looked at it. I'll just, I'll eat it, you know, if I'm asleep or something like that and you need to feed me while I'm asleep. Okay. You can, you can feed me that when I'm asleep. I just can't look at it. Oh, it looks like it's like a picture. No, I'm not picking that. Anywho, well that's Adventures in Taste Town with Kendall and Della, or Petite Moment with Della Petties. Um, and a Petite Moment with Snazzy, Snazzy, <coughs> Snazzy K. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.